Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm going to talk about Khalifa. Let's take a look on his stats. He is a hybrid mage and healer, so I compare him to Crow. William here only act as a mage stats comparison. Also, I cannot think others who is also mage and healer hybrid on 4 stars base. Like you can see, his magic stats is decent, only 4 points less than William's magic. However, his magic boost is kinda low, only 20%. So it is way way too low compared to William who gets 70% magic boost. But Khalifa has magic vanguard like ability. He gets 100% magic boost from his equipment. This is basically much better than William or other mages. Because yeah, let's say you equip him with his exclusive weapon, okay? So that gives you 78 magic boost. 78 are same as your normal 50% magic boost. Not mentioning you have magic stats from rope, accessories, or even better rod. So I can say that in terms of magic stats, Khalifa is the best of all 4 stars mages. For survivability, he is really bad like other mages. Thankfully, he has nice amount of spirit boost, 30%. Not much, but it is better than Crow who only gets 20%. And yeah, William doesn't have any spirit boost. 30% spirit is what you usually get from 4 stars healer. So I can say that Khalifa's stats as a hybrid is really good. He also has Petrify Resist and 30% Water and Ice Resist, so that's definitely a nice bonus. Sadly, he only get MP plus 30% and no Auto Refresh. MP is really important stats because he got no abilities to refill his own MP, and his abilities will eat a lot of MP. So enough about stats, let's take a look on his abilities. One of his best feature is able to use his healing and offensive magic thrice per turn. But you can't just simply do them immediately. You need a setup. Let's talk about the magic first. The requirement here is Icicle Press. This deals 2 times magic damage to all enemies, which is pretty ordinary. The main feature of this skill is it grants you an access to focus magic for one turn. Focus magic will allow you to use your def offensive focus abilities thrice per turn. It is good and bad at the same time. Bad because it only lasts for one turn, so I can say that Khalifa is not a repeat friendly character. However, this skill also imperil enemies' eyes and water resist, so that's definitely a good thing for others and for him too because his most powerful skill, Focus Magic Frostbite. It deals ice elemental damage. It deals 2.2 times ice magic damage to all enemies with consecutive damage increase after each use. At the maximum, it deals 4.2 times magic damage per cast, which means he can deal 12.6 times ice magic damage to enemies, which is pretty high. And because you have imperiled the enemy's ice resist, you will deal 18.9 times ice magic damage. And that is some amazing number. Make sure you put it at the end of your chain to deal yeah, finishing damage. Be careful not to reset the damage stacking though. Simply don't mix his other focus magics with this one and you will be fine. His other focus magic are not as powerful as this frostbite focus magic piercing shot. It deals 1.5 times ice magic damage with 30% spirit ignore, which means 2.14 times ice magic damage to one enemy. Still lower than frostbite. The only 
reason you want to use this is yeah when you lack MP the next is focus magic water shot this one will heal yourself and yeah it deals mediocre damage I think it is the most useless because yeah he's not a tanker so it is highly unlikely you only need to heal yourself but this water and piercing shots are 5 hits attack but I don't think you can chain them with anyone including Khalifa himself because the starting frame is ridiculously fast this is not a problem if you are using macro though so those are all his offensive abilities let's talk about healing abilities like focus magic you need to use a setup skill first to be able to use Tri's healing per turn that skill is promotion luckily this skill is good it heals all allies with an amount that's greater than Kyuraga the healing power is almost twice of Kyuraga so you don't need that dual white magic on Khalifa it also increases his spirit by 80% for 2 turns this may be useful if you don't have Soleil if you think that this healing is not enough then don't worry because this is simply a setup you can use circle of healing tries if you need more healing it is basically same as triple Kyuraga it is good okay but let me tell you that later Roselia will get triple cast too so yeah if you dying to get Khalifa only because of these skills then yeah I don't think you should do that because yeah you will get Roselia too later so yeah she able to do that without any setup that's the biggest point of Roselia okay the next is regen field it is just a normal AOE regen ability but nice to help you with your healing its healing power is about the same as single cura so it won't help you much okay the last is revive and this is very bad it only recover 10% health I know you can combine this but still 10% is really low and that character probably die again as soon as he or she life the last is his LB it is simply mediocre LB the damage mitigation here is simply yeah nothing special you can easily get 30% mitigation from crow's normal skill also the ice and water resist buff are simply pathetic 74% at maximum level so it's only 4% higher than your Barga magic okay so just forget it and leave this alone your burst pot have better use so those are all his abilities now let's talk about equipment what you want to do is to stack raw magic stats from equipment so you get bonus from your passive this is why I think you don't need dual wield because your passive basically have the same or even better effect than dual wield finding a raw magic boost from accessories may be a little bit problem okay I only able to remember one non TMR accessory that increase raw magic and that is shadow dragon scale I really against you to prioritize him as a healer because spirit increase not affect your healing that much so don't use staff enough about equipment my conclusion for Khalifa Khalifa is really good hybrid character but I think he kind of lack few things for healing power he is good but he really lack ailments cure and death five skill is really troll 10% so make sure you have other who can deal with ailments for offensive capabilities he is powerful but that's only if the enemy doesn't have ice resist sure 
He has normal elemental ability, but that skill is really not good. Okay, and the biggest problem for Khalifa is his MP pool. Without any MP management skill or regen, his MP will go down so fast. Triple Frostbite will cost you 60 MP. Triple Circle of Healing costs 45. Knowing this, it is really important to have MP battery on your party, and that's probably still not enough. In my opinion, Khalifa only suitable on short-term battle, like red event, forming event, okay? But the requirement to use setup skills first also make him not fit for short battle. So yeah, I think his trust master reward is the biggest feature, okay? It is basically free and the effect is very good, especially if you have a hero like Grim Lord Sakura. This one is yeah, maybe the best one of the best trust master reward for Grim Lord Sakura. In my opinion, Khalifa is simply good hero, not like Barusa who is unique. In my opinion, Barusa is the real MVP on this banner. But for Trust Master Reward, I prefer Khalifa's Trust Master Reward. I give Khalifa 8.5 out of 10. I still prefer William than this, okay, than him. Because William's Quake is really powerful. And yeah, doesn't need a setup. So I know, I know, okay, William's Quake also costs you a lot of MP. But yeah, this makes William suitable for short term battle, like what he intended to be, okay? So for Khalifa, like I've said, he is suited on short term battle, but he needs a setup. So that's kind of contradict each other. This is why I give Khalifa lower score than William even when his magic power surpassed William. So yep, I think that's all you need to know about Khalifa. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave XVS Guide. Bye bye guys.